the University of Colorado in Boulder, molecular biologist Leslie Leinwan says that pythons have unusual eating habits. They can go for months and months without eating anything, and nothing terrible happens to them. When these giant serpents finally slither in for supper, they may bite, strangle, and eat a mouse, a rat, or even a deer. They swallow their prey in one giant gulp, and then, Leinwan says, things get even stranger. Right after they eat uh, their meal, the bulk of their organs in the body get bigger. Within 72 hours, the python's digestive organs and heart expand by 40 percent. They'll shrink after the meal's been digested over the span of a couple of weeks. But while the python's powerful digestive process is underway, the snake's blood fills with 50 times more fat than normal. You or me, that would be pretty toxic. And in the python, it isn't toxic at all. There's what we would call cardio protection or heart protection. Pythons hardly ever get heart disease. In the high-fat blood they make during digestion, Line One's research team discovered free fatty acids that support heart growth. They are also found in coconut oil and animal fats. So it's myristic, palmitic, and palmitolaic. I want to emphasize it needs to be those three and in a particular combination that's found in the python. These fatty acids are only a fraction of the many fats in a python's blood, but they are powerful. Researcher Brooke Harrison infused them in a live mouse whose heart grew bigger and stronger. He says there's more work ahead. If we have our mouse with a big, sick heart, if the fatty acids would help our heart, we don't know that at this point. But if those fatty acids do help a sick mouse heart, the team plans to move on to trials in humans. And Leinwan says all this might lead to a new drug for heart disease. Those three fatty acids would be the drug. It's way too early to call it a powerful drug, but it sure looks promising. The research on Python's blood and heart disease was published last week in the journal Science. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Boulder, Colorado.